today on how to decorate with the mare. Today we are going to do this, hopefully, in this dark and dingy hallway. All the ceilings, you can't really see in this light, bloody shit, but you can see in this light. So, as cobwebs and everything need coming down, as you can see, well, where? I've, I, I have swept quite a few off, but it's all dirty and uh, everything. So, yeah, there are loads flying about, well, especially on this light. But yeah, so that's gonna be happening. Paint all the walls down to this level here. All the wallpaper and everything, cause it's been half done, but I didn't do that, obviously. So I'm just going to be painting up to the dado rail and do the ceiling and see how it comes out. And I'm going up to this brow here to begin with, because otherwise you've got, bloody, got loads of staircases, you see. And uh, I need to do it bit by bit. So yeah, I will come back to you once I've done something to it. Goodbye for now. Right, as you can see, a big difference between the colours. You can see that it used to be a yellowy colour all the way down. It was going to be grey, this brickwork here, going up. And then it's going to be white, but obviously I'm, I'm going to have because it's so high, I've been using scaffolding, obviously, to help it along. You can see where I've got to here, you can see a massive stripe going down. And there you go, you can see how yellow it was. But I have done... This is the first coat, I'll obviously have to do two coats on it. So, uh, yeah, but I'm happy with it so far. It's a bit patchy there, but a second coat ought to grab it and get that bit done. So I'll just, sh I'll just show you now, and I'll show it you complete with the first coat, and uh, we'll see how we get on. But that's it, you can see the big difference there. So there you go. Right, as you saw, I've now actually done that wall to a point, done the whole ceiling now, and the walls, uh, all over this side as well, which goes all the way down past that brow. Now, if you remember, it was very dark down here, so we might get a bit of luck, and it might show a bit more light, because it's now been painted white. I doubt it, no, it doesn't look so because there is no light here. Well, that's the first coat. It does look patchy in places, so it will definitely need a second coat, which I'll do, and you'll see in a bit, because look, you see that patch there? Really yellow. I don't know if it's a trick of the light or not, but I painted that bloody loads. So I'll just wait for it to all dry up and paint it tomorrow. Today is the 11th of April, so this is uh, where I'm living now, and this will be uploaded, oh, I don't know when, but when I'm totally moved in. But it's a big old house that I've got to do. But yeah, so there we go, and the scaffold there, which is very useful. So we'll see, I think it'll look quite nice. So we'll see how we get on with it. But that'll be all for today. This is gonna be a nightmare in here, I haven't done that yet. You can see how yellow it is in there. A lot of work to be done and filler or whatever, fucking plaster. I've got loads to do. And this wall here, I need to strip of wallpaper to get it back to the brickwork, uh, like that. <coughs> so you'll see it anyway. So yeah, you'll see the next clip. Right, so undercoat has been done. A second coat all over for the uh, wallpaper and ceiling is now all okay. I've got to finish off in this alcove here. Now, the original paint was grey in this house, so that's what we're going with, because it just goes a bit or whatever. So that's what we decided, but as you can see, or you don't see, bloody hell you can't see in the slight. But uh, second coat needs to go on this ceiling. Doesn't look too bad, but it does in real life. Uh, Undercoated all this, the stairs, 
Uh, you can see the original colour, <laughs> creamy yellow, whatever. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, you'll see it in a, oh, clean the light and put different shades on as well, which were good. But yeah, so we're going for a grey and white kind of theme. All the doors have been undercoated as well, which was a bit of a pain up the arse, but all done. Uh, scaffolding is still up. All the lead window has been masked up because you don't want any mess. Uh, what I will do is need some masks that can everything. Anyway, I'll, I'll let you know who you'll see on the next clip, what's been done, gloss and all that. This bit's going to be a bit of a fucking arsehole, but I've worked out a way of doing it without taking the radiator off, so, and this floor's fucked. So we're going carpet now, because these floorboards don't match up anyway, really. Going all sorts of directions, so yeah. They can, uh, gonna get carpeted again. So yeah, back on the scaffold and uh, glossing away I will be. Bye for now. Now what you're looking at is the final finish. Glossed up everything, all around. Like that. All ceilings have been done. So I'll start in the alcove where I've had trouble. Uh, I've got to give these door frames another coat of gloss and also gloss the doors but we'll, uh, I'll do that last because I've got a lot of shit to move about. So as you see I've now got the ceiling, you couldn't really see it last time properly because uh, it uh, just kept on coming on the yellow and it was all dark but look, a nice grey bottom wall and it goes into white like that. So. Just nice, but it's a bit patchy. I could, I just could not get that white for some reason. Uh, Panelling has been done on the staircase here, and for a little feature, I thought that if I put these grey gloss, these little twirly bits, little patterns, going up all the way, going all the way up the stairs, would like look quite nice. And you can see the original colour of the staircase and what this board was and everything, with the banisters. Also this wall has been done. Uh, we're not obviously not going to be doing the flooring now, it's going to be carpeted because it is just such a mess. But if you look there, you see, it's all very nice. And I do love the smell of new paint. So, uh, yeah, that is basically it. I need to do this door frame again, just re-gloss it, just needs another coat. Uh, I think I've done a good job. There's a few little spots here and there if I just need to touch up. But basically this hallway downstairs is now done. Next job in the hallway, we'll be doing the whole staircase, because obviously I haven't done up here, but I've got a load of shit to move in. So, uh That'll be sort of a last job. And then I'll be moving onto this staircase here to finish it up, to finish it off. Because look how yellow it is. It's just unbelievable but what the uh, thing was. So, yeah, it goes all the way up and then round again. So I've got a lot of staircases to do. But yeah, I do love this window here. There's a next door. Uh, I think that's flats, so not too sure. Uh, but yeah, you can see the yellow ceiling. So you imagine that when you first saw. That was the yellow ceiling. And it turns nice bright white. So yeah, there we go. That was the hallway vlog decorating in the new home. Got the uh, masking tapes to come off there. If you're wondering, that's why it looks a bit messy there, but you can see that the bottom half has been taken off. But there you go. That is it. It's looking very posh. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little decorating the hall vlog. I'll see you on the next decorating vlog. Bye bye. It's been me the mayor.